Good morning, YouTube. I've got a goodie for you today brought to you by the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. If you've been in my streams recently, you've probably heard me mention once or twice that I've been trying to save up for a house. And so I've been trying to get my expenses in order. And well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower bills, and manage your money better. I'm using Rocket Money to set budgets. This way I can analyze my spending habits and create a custom budget that works with my lifestyle and make sure the editors get paid as well as automatically monitor your spending by category and get notifications when you exceeded your limit. If you wanna save more and spend less, you can join over the 5 million members using Rocket Money today, right now, by clicking on my link in the description below, or by going over to rocketmoney.com forward slash flats to get started for free. Rocket Money has helped save its customers up to $740 a year with over 500 million canceled subscriptions. You can unlock even more features with premium, but you can start for free right now by going and clicking on the link in the description below. Thank you so much to Rocket Money for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much to you guys for always supporting me. And as always, I'll see you again tomorrow. They played Venture and their game's range was Silver 1 to Masters 5. I played since Overwatch 1, but not ranked until Overwatch 2 Season 8, and I play both support and damage roles, mostly support. I've been hard stuck silver and been close to gold, but kept losing due to teammates disconnecting or just bad. When the Season 10 wide range queue came, I joined a friend who was Masters 5, Frosty, and I was silver 1 and bread, and one would like some hard critique on the way I play and some points where I can improve and don't do. I think I should be at least gold one close to plat. First venture spectating. You're in a game with... Chat, it, it won't turn off. Uh, task manager, save me. Task manager, save me. What the... There was just a patch! What happened? Alright. Now our true work begins. Okay. <sighs> Saved. Okay, so Venture is a very, very uh up close type of character. Think Doomfist from Overwatch 1 type of deal. Alright, so first things first, you're not playing Venture correctly, uh just because when you go underground early, you're not doing your dash through their team. You can either dash straight through and then run out, um, but you're missing on an effective damage time by not doing that. Venture is new though, and it's a new thing, like a new tech, like, you know, maybe not everyone might know about it yet, so I'm not gonna be too harsh on you, but yeah, when you go underground, you should pretty much just try to dash right through them right away. That way, you know, at the end, once you pop back out, you can hold your shift or your left click and then do like the power pop out, and you should have your right click back off cooldown. So make sure you try to do that as often as you can. Yeah, you don't typically wanna be disengaging with it unless, you know, things look really spooky. The best way you wanna do it, you know, is with the underground dig there. Um, you could go through it then come out, you know, uh, that way you're getting maximum damage and poke. So yeah. Okay. Uh, you've wasted your drill dash twice now, but okay. It's, you know, uh, it's still early, so I'll give you a pass. Okay. Thank God the hitbox is huge on that. Hey, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Not bad. Not bad. All in all, definitely hitting the, the left clicks. Your Moira just. Do you guys share the same fucking brain cell? Isn't that your duo? I hope you guys lose. Okay. I don't know what 
Why are you why are you guys all just pressing random buttons? Okay, another wasted drill dash. You don't really seem to be using your drill dash to go in for kills. You're using it more to like run away half the time, and I don't like that. So they use their Kitsune Rush. I would have popped your ult right here. Like this second, I would have already popped ult. But I think you, you're holding your ult until they ult. Like, AKA, that tells me you're too slow on your decision making. And you're not confident on when to use it. You should have used it right away. But then you pop it late, and it's like, okay, I don't know what's going on here. Everyone's using their ult. So drill dashing adventure, you drill dash away. Go underground, try to run. You don't do the power pop up. I would probably get in the habit of trying to do the power pop up a little bit more. Um, just because you can catch people by surprise with it, especially if they're chasing you. Buys you an extra second too to get you your, your drill dash back online. You probably weren't winning that though. Uh, it's still kind of a waste, but all right, not the worst. Venture can be extremely, extremely, extremely powerful. As long as you are having your correct cooldown usage and the correct engages. But you have to actually hit your shots and you have to actually hit your abilities, which you're about 50% on so far. And right there, those left clicks are not the most pretty. Okay, don't know why you dropped down here. Okay, you got the drill dash. They were kind of low, so that was nice. I would have burrowed when you were getting sucked under there. Your team is kind of rolling without you. Like, I feel like you didn't really have much of an impact that fight. Yeah, you killed the venture, but the venture was already low. It's not like you... So let me tell you what's happening right now. This match is a super wide match. Half the players who are probably on the higher end are trolling and the players on the lower end are just trying to keep up. Why did the Oreo go to the dentist? Because it lost its filling. Can't be missing that this often. Another questionable use. Go underground and go for the, the carry at first. You don't you don't go underground and then do the power dash up nearly as enough. You should be going underground a lot more, powered jumping up, trying to left click somebody after after you're in the air, and then dashing them and then left clicking them You can because you can one shot. If you, if you catch them on the jump up, it's even easier, but if you do no damage when you pop up and you hit someone with a direct left click, venture or right click, drill dash, left click again, you delete a squishy. Look up, maybe? Okay, never mind. Okay, you can tell, you can really tell why you're in silver in the middle of those fights. Your mechanics are less than stellar so another thing you're missing here i know venture is new so i'm going to be a little bit easier on you but you're definitely mechanically not higher level than you think you are uh venture goes underground you go underground too that means you're second what you do is you follow the venture until they get you just follow them until they stop so what you should have done is followed the venture underground until they get to here and then when they charge up you just start charging up next to them so they start charging up first even if they charge all the way you charge up all the way under them you do 100 damage burst because they pop out of the ground instead you miss then you miss your drill dash as well wouldn't have matter though because the fight's over you're freaking out as if you did anything but i'm not gonna lie to you i don't know why you have an ego because you basically had no impact on that fight all right now what now what are you gonna do Okay, a little bit of poking. Yep. Keep poking here. Look to the left. Look to the left. Look to the left. Look to the left. I uh, don't know about that one, Chief, but. Okay, now you don't have your drill, drill dash. Would have rather see you do. We're gonna do that. Jump in, left click, then go underground, and then drill dash underneath, underneath all of them, but I guess that works. The Ramacha kind of feeds a little bit, but he wasn't looking too hot, anyways. Yo, oh, Gremlin, thank you for the membership. Appreciate it. We're shooting at your own team instead of the other. Okay, miss. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta get those mechanics down a little bit better. This is not even close. Especially if you, if you really think you should be a high rank. Because, like, I'm not gonna lie, your friend Frosty is hardcore carrying you. Like, I, 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 like I'm not, not trying to be mean, but that, there's a very giant difference. I constantly see them in the kill feed, and I almost rarely see you in the kill feed. <sighs> Okay. 
Okay, so you, you do the combo in reverse. Now you don't have your drill dash. And shoot the... Dude, you can shoot the floor. Shoot the floor if you suck this bad. Like, if your mechanics are really this terrible, just shoot the floor. Like, shoot the floor underneath them and it explodes. Because, like, good lord, dude. What in the hell is this? Dude, you're telling me that you think your teammates are holding you back and that you should be higher? Mechanically, that's hilarious. And you add a spawn, do the, don't do the correct combo again. I understand though, it's out of spawn, like it's still getting used to it, it's fine, it's not the biggest deal on the planet, but I'm just saying you're wasting a lot of valuable time. And the reason why I'm harsh on you about it is because you haven't shown me throughout this entire VOD that you know how to even do that combo correctly. You haven't done it, I think, almost like a single time. Okay, miss. Okay, you get the drill dash, there you go. Ideally, you want to hit him with a left click, then drill dash, then left click, so you can one-shot him. But he was low enough that a drill dash and a left click was enough. But again, you haven't been hitting many left clicks. At all. On the ground. Okay, good charge up jump, there you go. I chase, I chase, I chase. No chasing, because you're kind of a bitch and you're scared. Probably because you've been missing a lot of your shots and you're mechanically not feeling the hottest at the moment. Okay, let's see your dash, dash on the ground. And you don't do any of it except dash out. So you haven't, you're not, you're not effectively using your abilities and you're not hitting your left clicks either. So to say you think you deserve higher is, there's, there's no evidence of that at all. Okay, let's see you go underground again. Why don't you go underground and dash through all these guys on this corner. Okay, your team's going in. All right, fine. You want to use your ult? That's fine, too. That works. Venture ult's really not that good. It's either like a feast or famine type of ult. You wasted it again instead of rolling underground, doing the underground dash, but that's fine. The fight's basically over anyway, so it's not the biggest thing. I'd like to see you hit more left clicks. That would be uh, ideal. All right. But now what? You don't poke at all? You have you have drill dash to get out, so you could go up on this corner and poke. Like you're you're too scared to poke because I think you're afraid of dying. But you're not building a pulse, okay? You don't go. Oh, well, you're dead. Yeah, you're dead. Goodbye. Feeder. Feeder. This is why you use your cooldowns correctly. Today, I learned you can go on the cars like that. Feeder. Could have just probably left, but you decided to stay in. You just told the Genji to feed, though. It's almost like different people need different tips and different advice because every player has a different playstyle or has different things to work on. Wow. Isn't that a crazy thing? Isn't that a crazy concept? This guy does not have the mechanical skill of that Genji did and has way more confidence than he should because he's not even using his cooldowns correctly. The Genji was, and the only time that they weren't doing anything was their dash because they were using their dash to lead instead of their dash to engage. It's almost like they're also playing two totally different characters. Wow, who would have totally thought that? If you haven't been able to figure that out by watching content creators do VOD reviews or watch spectating bronze or whatever it might be, uh, I'm sorry to tell you, but you're probably not absorbing the information that they are giving you correctly. Okay, again. Although, I think your goal there was to drill dash the bomb out, which, granted, wasn't the worst idea. Got a kill too. Actually, helped get a kill too with the, the venture ult. That was a good ult. Uh, your left clicks, though. Yeah, your mechanics are need desperate help. Jesus Christ. Jesus fucking Christ. And you got and whoever it was before was like, were you told the Genji to feed before? Yeah, the Genji could actually hit shots. That Genji in the one we watched before, that guy was br low bronze. That guy was low bronze and was scared of his own shadow, but at least could aim. This guy isn't afraid of anything, should be a little bit more afraid, and has the mechanical skill of a walnut. That's why they get different advice. 
They're also not using their cooldowns correctly. Like, you should have just went through the ground there. You should have drill dash through them, push them all together, then do the pop-up. And then you would have had your drill dash back on cooldown on a 4-second cooldown instead of an 8-second cooldown. And then you would have had it back up for another rotation because you also get shields on it. So when you popped out of the ground, you would have had an extra 75 shield instead of using the 75 shield you get on your original right click. You would have had another rotation of it. So you give yourself more shield, and you give yourself more health, and that's how you stay alive. It's almost like old Doomfist where you're constantly go, 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 constantly cycling through cooldowns. If you miss, if you can only, if you're not, one, using your cooldowns correctly, and two, you're not using your left clicks, you can't hit a shot, you're not going to win. And I know this is probably a little bit like of a little wonky of a lobby, because like it's a wide group lobby, but you can, I mean, you can tell their supports are way better than you are, because they actually have good movement, and you can't f***ing hit them in your life. I don't know why you didn't fire multiple shots in a row right there. You kind of waited in between. You gave them time to survive. That was not a good venture roll. I also probably would have tried to get in a little bit closer, because you can bury underground and use dash while you're in venture roll. Probably want to get a little bit closer, because venture ult's very feast or famine. A lot of times, famine. Not your best round. Honestly, the last round wasn't that great either, but your, your friend on the Moira was low-key carrying, so... All right, let's see you drill. You don't ever drill dash on the ground. It's such a miss. Like you, if you drill dash at the start of your underground burrow, and then you hold your charge when you jump out of the ground, you will always, always have it back off cooldown. It almost makes no sense that you're never using it. I love it. when people try to say your advice isn't good like they're the OWL top 500 player with years of experience. Baffling. Well, it's more of just like they're you're 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 being an idiot because it's like it's it's useless what about ism it's like well you told the last guy yeah because the last guy had different circumstances if i went to say spilo tomorrow let's say i said to spilo spilo i want to get back into competitive overwatch i want to improve again and i said spilo give me a help give me a hand here let's do a coaching session and I had Spilo sit down with me and tell me what I was doing wrong. I can guarantee you what I'm doing wrong is very different than what you're doing wrong. And there's a lot of reasons for that, whether it's mechanically, whether it's because of comps, whether it's because of what heroes we're playing, whatever it might be. It's always going to be very different, you know? Don't you dare. Okay. Oh, yeah, you're not hitting shit. Okay, you start shooting the ground, you're kind of, you know, you kind of, like, for some reason, I don't know why you hadn't realized it until this exact moment, but you, you just, like, discovered that if they're 80, 80 strafing close to you, shoot the fucking ground. Wait, you kind of learned. Oh, wait, so you do know how to do the drill dash underground. You just don't use it in your mid fights ever. I want, to see you, I want to see you get closer and drill dash through. Yeah. Okay. Very, very interesting popping your ult here because there's a giant hole in the middle. Um, wait, I mean this with... No, nah, I don't mean this with all respect, with all niceness. You, you need a wake-up call. Do you notice that you're, like, the worst player in the lobby, and it's not close? Like, these fights are going on, and you're just, like, spinning around in circles and lost. And I know that it's a wide group, and you probably are the worst player in the lobby. But it's like, did you feel like you were performing super well in this game? And you were like, yeah, we won. Like, that was such a good game because, like, everyone was going crazy and, like, my teammates were really good. Yeah, no shit. This is what they call getting carried. Like, <laughs> the, the reason why you might have played this game and felt like this was a really high-level game and it felt better because your teammates didn't suck is because you were the sandbagger. You were the sandbagging teammate. You were that guy. You were the shitter in the lobby. Oh, good boop. Good boop. Finally a good play. Okay, this is good. 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 But again, it's kind of your May setting you up with the queen. It's kind of like all you guys together working together and you're kind of just along for the ride. The walls have been really good. It forces them to use fade there into point and they end up dying. You hit one shot and then your teammates killed them. 
you didn't even hit a single cooldown right there. You still haven't hit a single. They're high nooning and you still missed. Dude, hold, I, dude I'm getting dizzy. Okay, you point blank hit a null, thank god. That guy's wall running, genius. You notice even in those last few fights, you didn't hit a fucking person and you were still winning? You were the shitter on your team. And the worst part is like, I hope you didn't send me this. It was like, a, look at this game. I played really well in a really high level game because you did. You played like shit. And like you won because Overwatch is a team-based game. But it, there's enough individuality that unless you're playing at the top 500 super high level, people have solo kill potential and solo carry potential, right? Even at that top 100 top level like top 10 players like if they're insane at the game like that sojourn player kills three fight every fight they can still win games even if their teammates suck but they still lose games even if their teammates suck right but you're a great example here is you are the sandbagger so if you think genuinely that you should be two rank two full ranks higher than where you're at you're trolling you're actually trolling because there's not a chance in hell